Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. How are you? I hope you're doing wonderful. Jesus loves you so much. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray that God uses it to just to infiltrate your heart with his goodness. I just want you to know the Lord is good. He is good and he knows them who trust in him. So, because it, it, it's not our natural instinct to trust in God. It's natural to give into anxiety. It's natural to give into fear. It's natural to give into depression. But you know what? It's unnatural. It goes against our carnal ways to walk by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence, the evidence of things not seen. So we don't see it, we don't feel it, we don't, we don't know it. But we know it in our spirit. We don't we don't see it naturally, but we see it in her spirit. So that's why God loves those who trust in him. Because really, when we trust in God, we're trusting in what's not seen. But the but it's it, it, it's true. You know what I mean? We may not fully see the moon, but we know it's there. We may not understand why the sky is blue and how oxygen and all these particles. We may not understand all that, but it's still true. You know what I mean? We may not understand how a plane flies, but by faith we believe it flies. Just because we cannot understand a thing, just because we don't perceive a thing, doesn't mean it's not true. And so God knows all those who trust in him. How wonderful it is to be a part of the few, a part of this elite club who trust in the Lord. It's like we just have this carefree mentality about us to really trust in the Lord. We know him as daddy. We don't worry about anything. He is our confidence. He is our hope. He is our source. How awesome is that to just live life carefree because he cares for us. Cast all thy care upon him because he cares for us. So when we know that he cares for you, when he knows that he cares for me, when we know that he truly cares for us individually, then we can cast it upon him and let him just hold us. That's when p true peace comes. That's when true tranquility comes when we are known in the presence of God, when we be still and know, when we are still and know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pastor. Only then can we enter his gates with thanksgiving. Only then can we enter his courts with praise. Only then. Because we have to know that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We have to know those things. We have to, I have fainted. Let's, I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David would have fainted. We would have fainted if we couldn't see the good, any, any glimpse of, of, of the glory of God. We don't, we can't, if we were two inches from the sun, we would just be obliterated. We, we wouldn't even, it, it, it couldn't even physically happen because are the, the 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 matters of our very human being can't even be that close to the sun. Shoot, I mean, just being millions of millions of miles away from it on Earth, it it can destroy our skin. It can, you know, mess up our eyes. We can't even be two inches close to it. We can't even be right on the sun. So right now, in our finite being, we cannot be close to God in His natural sense. We can't, if, if, if God were to be two inches by us, we would utterly be disintegrated, utterly. It couldn't happen. So we, we behold him in part right now in our human, in our humanness. One day we'll behold him face to face. We know in part now, but one day we'll see him face to face. But that just tells you how awesome he is, the magnitude, the grandeur of this God, this holy God we serve. You know, we can trust him. We may not, he may not show us everything because he's trying to protect us. He's trying to produce patience in us. He's trying to produce endurance in us. Yes, everybody might not like you, but guess what? God loves you. And because you are filled with the love of God, then can you pour that love into others. So I'm just telling, isn't it lovely when someone you know, someone you really love and care about trusts you fully? You don't like it when they think, what if someone you really love just was very cynical of you always was thinking like well i can't really trust her or is she, did she really mean that i don't trust her you would feel hurt you would feel heartbroken that's in the same way that's how jesus feels with us you know look 90s feeling my shirt says 90s feeling i'm 90s baby 2000s kid hey but when i was born in 94 conceived in 93 i didn't know anything 
but God placed me in my mother's womb. God had a plan for me. God knew I'd be speaking on this camera right now. In 2004, I was in a poetry book of children around the nation, and I was talking about how the internet, I like the internet to, you know, you can, it, it can connect to people, connect you to people around the world. So I was in fourth grade saying that, look at me now, using the internet to be connected, connecting Jesus to people around the world. So God knows the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you, plans not to harm you, plans of peace. He doesn't give as the world gives peace. The, the peace of the world is just like, it's not even true peace. It's just like, it's just an instant fix, but it doesn't sustain you. The peace God gives with, to us is lasting. So I behoove you, we can trust him. And yeah, it may take, it may be scary to trust God, but what else other option do we have? You know, God is faithful. No matter what trials and fire you're going through, it's all ordained to perfect you. So let's just relentlessly trust him. Let's just trust him with every fiber of our being. How awesome is that? Can you do that with me? Let's do it. So, Lord, just fill us up with your trust. May we trust you with every fiber of our being. Teach us how to trust you. Lord, and may, and may we not go by head knowledge, but let's go by heart knowledge, what we know is true in our heart. Lord, give us a relentless childlike trust in you. A childlike joy where people will see us. They'll be like, how are you so joyous? How are you so happy? And may we tell them about this Jesus that we live for. May the fruit of the Spirit just radiate from us. May our fruit just blossom on our trees. May we be set apart, peculiar for your glory, Lord. And just grant us the supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding that guards our heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and bye. Hey, it's Stacey Sherelle Dixon. Thank you so much for being on this channel. God has commissioned me to just use the internet for his glory and I put my heart and my soul into this YouTube channel and into my website, Stacy Sherell Dixon. Here on this YouTube channel, I have almost a thousand videos where you can just explore. On my blog, StacySherell.com, I have over 300 blog posts, over three years of material that you can just dive into. If you're new here, leave a comment down below. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what's your name. How has this encouraged you? I wanna know who I'm you know, talking to through these videos. And I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. You are unique just the way you are. Stay the course, you are a winner. And all W's, no losses. Jesus is for you. Bye.